In this lesson, we're going to look at the, well, we're going to take this molecule and we're going to identify the homologous and the general formula. So for the homologous, what we can realize is that it's this part here that's a little bit interesting. So by the way, if you are in the IEB curriculum, you guys typically do not look at these types of molecules, which is um, either the aldehydes or ketones. Um, but if you caps, which is most of you who are watching this, then you guys do do aldehydes and ketones. So we're gonna see that there's a C double bond oxygen. Now we do see that in many molecules. We see that in the carboxylic acids, for example, where you get that, but you also get an OH. So if you see that, that's a carboxylic acid. Now, we also get double bond oxygens um, in esters, which is like that. But the reason that this is an ester is because there's an oxygen somewhere in between two carbons, okay? So that's an ester. Um, we also see it in um, these types of molecules, but then if, if there's a hydrogen over here, then this means that this is the last carbon. So this is the carbon that is on the side. When it's on the side, maybe you've heard me say this before, that makes it an aldehyde, aldehyde on the side. All right, but if you have a double bond oxygen and the carbon that it is attached to is in between two other carbons, then it is a ketone. So that's the answer for this one. The homologous is going to be a ketone. Now we need to work out the general formula. So you can memorize it or we can try to figure it out. So I'm gonna try to figure it out. So there's three carbons, six hydrogens, and an oxygen. So that's pretty easy. We can say that there would be N carbons, then there should be double the amount of hydrogens. And then there's a random little oxygen on the end. So we can just do it like that. And so that would be your general. So let's just write general formula. And that would be CNH2N with a big capital oxygen.